Hey, I'm Sebastian from SIG in Germany. In this tutorial, I want to give you an overview of the different Flexisoft I.O. modules and how you can save costs by choosing the right modules for your machine. SIG offers four different I.O. modules, which help you creating a configuration that perfectly fits to your machine. The XDIO provides eight safe inputs and four safe outputs. Furthermore, there are two test pulse outputs. The XDIO is the only I.O. module which offers safe outputs. The XCDI provides eight safe inputs and eight test pulse outputs. Therefore, the XCDI is the right module when you need additional safe inputs. The XCDS also offers eight safe inputs. Additionally, there are four non-safe outputs and two outputs where you choose between test pulse and non-safe outputs. This gives the XCDS great flexibility to fit in your configuration. Finally, the STIO provides six non-safe inputs and six non-safe outputs. Moreover, there are two switchable in and outputs. This module is perfect for the integration of standard automation functionalities or diagnostic purposes. Let's now find out how to choose the right I.O. modules for an application. Therefore, we look at three examples to see how to configure our modules in different situations. Those examples differ from each other in the amount of safe and non-safe inputs needed. The first step towards a cost-effective solution is always to consider the amount of required safe outputs. This defines the number of XCIO modules because it's the only module providing those safe outputs. In our example, we have two robots and therefore need two dual channel cutoff pads, so actually four safe outputs. Therefore we need one XCIO which offers exactly four safe outputs. In the first example, there are four dual channel safety sensors, which make eight safe inputs. We can cover all those safe inputs with the XCIO we have already selected. So now we can proceed with the non-safe in and outputs. Every time you reach the point where you don't need any more safe inputs, you can just move on to the STIO module, because it is the most cost effective module. In this case, one STIO offers the eight non-safe inputs and the four non-safe outputs we need. Summing up, we have solved the first example with one XTIO and one STIO. In the second example, we have now nine safe inputs. The rest will remain unchanged. With the already selected XTIO module, eight of the nine required safe inputs are covered. Now the XCIO wouldn't be cost effective, because we don't need any more safe outputs. So there are two options left to cover the last safe input we need. One XCDI or one XCDS. Both of them provide eight safe inputs. Since we only need one more safe input, we have already covered seven of the eight required non-safe inputs by placing them on the remaining safe inputs. For the additional non-safe input, the best solution is one STIO which also covers the four non-safe outputs. Regarding this, we wouldn't use the additional non-safe outputs of the XCDS, so an XCDI is more cost-effective here. To sum up again, we have solved the second example with one XTIO, one XCDI and one STIO. In the third example, we have the same situation as in the previous one, except that we now only have seven non-safe inputs. I've already put 8 of the 9 safe inputs on the XCIO again. Now there are the same options left for the remaining safe inputs as in the second example, either one XCDI or one XCDS. This time both modules have enough inputs to cover all the safe and non-safe inputs we need. Therefore only 4 non-safe outputs are left. Here we don't need another STIO because we can simply choose the XTDS which offers those four non-safe outputs. Thus we have saved an entire module by choosing an XTDS over an XTDI and with only two modules, an XTIO and an XTDS, we have solved this example. At the end of this tutorial I'm going to sum up the few things you have to consider for an optimal configuration. First step, the number of safe outputs needed defines the number of XTIOs in your configuration. Second step, do I still need safe inputs which are not covered by the XCIO? If yes, there are two options, either XCDI or XCDS. 
Consider that the XVI is less expensive, however it does not have any outputs. If you don't need any more safe inputs but non-safe in-law outputs, simply define the number of STIOs, since this is the most cost effective solution. That's it with our short information about the FlexiSoft I.O. modules. With this basic knowledge, you can easily configure your own cost-effective solution.